Whole Foods haul. Let's see what's in the bags. We're working on getting ready to go into the store and go shopping for groceries and also for a birthday gift and maybe something for the baby because he's really trying to stand up and I don't have anything for that. About an hour later, we're actually leaving and we've got all of our stuff in order to have a zero waste shopping spree at Whole Foods. Well, shopping spree, it's going to be like a run in, run out kind of a thing. So anyway, this should be interesting. Lots of fun. I like going to Taco Time because it has compostable food and stuff. I'm so sad. Kelly's outside playing, Wyatt's napping. We just got back from Whole Foods and a couple of other errands, and I wanted to show you what I got because I shopped the bulk section. I did buy beer and wine. I just bought one bottle of beer and a bottle of wine for myself. I did a rosé. Here's my shopping bags. I always get comments on them like saying, oh, were these repurposed? Or did you make these? Because they're not very well made. Um, but it's got the tear number on there and then also an easy area to put the bin. The bin number is written in washable crayon, which is recommended by B. Johnson in Zero Waste Home. And so this is the first thing that I got as far as the bulk bins go. Since it's a long holiday weekend, these are treats. This is uh, just like a nice um, healthified type of a gummy treat for Kelly and S. And they're good. They're little star guys and a number of flavors, and they're in the Whole Foods bulk bin, so we're gonna transfer those over to jars to keep and to preserve. So another one, again, in the shopping bag, chocolate milk peanut butter malt balls. Kelly asked for them. They're his, his candy for the weekend. I usually get almond butter, but there was about this much almond butter left in it, so and I wanted to get a lot because I've been making raw cookies and other fun stuff, so I ended up getting a peanut butter. And this is just a plain peanut butter, and I used a can. I went first and got the tear weight and put it on there. I just wrote in um, pen, in, um, what's that called? Sharpie pen. I usually don't put the Sharpie number up at the top <laughs> um, as far as the bin number on this metallic piece because it doesn't wash off that well. I'll usually put it on the jar, and on the jar, the metal or the sharpie will just completely wash off in the dishwasher. So peanut butter, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. I did buy eggs there. I need to buy them from someone local because everyone has eggs around here. You just have to buy them somewhere. This is the last bin bag I got, and this is trail mix. This is the Kahuna or Kahuna or whatever one. It has dried pineapple in it, cranberries, macadamia nuts, and it was on sale. Oh, there's a cranberry. On sale uh, for like $5.99 a pound. I load up with fruits and veggies. I didn't get to go to the farmer's market from um, our town on Thursday. These are peaches. They came in a blue carton, so I just left the blue carton there and put them in the my, again, made-at-home little tool produce bag. So things like this where there's a number of them and they're loose, I'll put in the produce netted bags that don't have a tear weight. And then things like asparagus, I just put in blank, nothing in it in the car or in the seat. And I'll usually roast asparagus and put them in salads. Bananas, of course, smoothies. If you freeze bananas, it makes a really awesome, healthy ice cream. Avocados, we eat avocados all the time. Kelly will just eat them straight up. Um, I love to put them in salads. You can put them in smoothies and ice cream. I bought strawberries in a plastic case. I didn't go to the farmer's market yesterday and I really wanted strawberries for the holiday weekend so I ended up buying it in the plastic. And the last thing is corn. It was two for a dollar corn and I'll also, same thing, I'll bake the corn just in the stalks. I cut off the tops and any loose pieces and the ends, bake them in the oven and then cut them up or slice off the actual corn kernels and put them in salads and kale. It's really good. And then Kelly also likes to eat the actual corn on the cob. That's all I bought at Whole Foods. It's fast, it's easy, it's affordable because you're avoiding that middle aisle area. And then I just bring this little purse along whenever I go because this has my little utensils for doing the zero waste shopping which is the sharpie for the glass I usually have more glass containers when I go there 
Um, but I did a lot of Costco shopping for the bulk bins this time. And then also I have this little crayon that I bring too that's washable that goes on all of the bags. Whole Foods haul. I'm waiting for Wyatt to want to go to sleep. Kelly's up for a nap. And today's Instagram challenge, that challenge that I'm doing every day, you post something in the month of August about how you feel or mo makes you feel a certain word. Like today is inspired, what makes you feel inspired. And going to Whole Foods uh, with two kids, a baby and a preschooler, uh, is inspiring enough. There's got to be a better way of getting food to people. And that inspires me. And especially zero waste, removing a lot of the packaging from the foods. Because again, that's where the majority of our waste from our household is going, is through single-use packaging and packaging of bringing things home. And it's a pain in the neck to bring... Um, to bring bulk bags and, and glass jars and everything like that. And you don't always get the most quality of foods through the bulk bins. And you have to worry about preschoolers and toddlers that are there with their moms too, putting a grimy little hands in it. And all sorts of fun stuff. So there's just got to be a better way of doing zero waste stuff. I know there's a zero waste market in Denver that's coming up. I know there's one in Germany. There's a few, um, there's one in Austin that are gaining press coverage as being like this innovative thing. I mean, this has been around for a long time with co-ops and I just feel like there's got to be a better way to do it. <laughs> so that's what's inspiring me today. Shane and I have some ideas of how to do that and it would be really, really fun to focus on that. Um, we won't be doing it anytime soon, um, but maybe in the future doing a business or something around the idea of eliminating waste from our lives and focusing on helping families gen in general become more sustainable through healthy foods and their time and through just the environment in general. Huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so handsome. I'm watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reruns and making my salad. So there's kale from the garden and I put the peanut butter in with, with sesame oil and the kale and massage that in. I'm going to add quinoa into it and then I have uh, asparagus in the oven roasting and I'll mix it all together with an onion that I also have left over and put some hemp seed in that I got from Costco. Kelly will have something similar but just dissect it a bit so that it's not all put together in one salad. And the finished product! 